This is a video about my life as a freelancer translator. I'm translating Korea into English and vice versa. If you're an upper client, just skip to here to quickly see my portfolios. First things first, I carefully go over all the documents and by the client before the contract actually starts. I acquaint what I should and shouldn't do while translating through these files. Then I go to bed a little earlier than usual. To be on time, the client has required me to be up. The time needs to be flexible for the freelancers. Next morning, the contract has started. It's time for me to work. At the end of the day, I submit the projects that I had done to the client. After the contract ended, I give the rate to the client. First of all, I simultaneously interpreted English to Korean and vice versa at the trade show named Nano Korea Expo for three days. I worked with Sarion Nano Materials in Rochester, New York. Before the trade show started, I'd gone over the website of Sarion, YouTube video of them, and the documents that I got from the Sarion sales manager. I translated all of them for about three weeks. It was demanding, but eventually I had almost no trouble in interpreting at the show because I prepared well. Next up, I translated Korean real estate contract. Because I'm majoring in law in the university, it was easier for me than others to read, understand, and translate the clauses. Pretty lately, I translated the English healthcare document into Korean. Lastly, I called a few Korean companies' purchasing managers and got the information from them that the client had asked me to get. Sorry, I didn't save anything from this project because it was more of like a private information, but you can check it on my profile that I got the read from them. I would really love to work with you on a future project, just like I've worked with them. Let's do it! And thank you so much for watching the video until the end. I hope you have a really nice day. Bye-bye!